Hey, what's going on, guys? Okay, so uh, I've been talking to a new uh, trainer, or he's been an experienced trainer, but he's gotten in on his own. Uh, he lives in a little town uh, not too far outside of my city, okay? And he, he's been trained before, but he really wants to make this more than full-time. He has adults that he trains at his garage gym, and then there's a plenty big open field that he has. Uh, so he wants more athletes. And outside of he knows that he needs to uh, break down any discomfort that he has, uh, talking and emailing with uh, middle school coaches, high school coaches, uh, coaches and club directors of different sports organizations around him, and finding out where the parents are and maybe some online uh, Facebook groups uh, that we've talked about here before uh, where parents share about a lot of clinic information uh, and tryouts and stuff like that, okay? So he knows all that and he's trying uh, his best with this, but as far as daily content, um, to really do his email newsletter and for his general social media, he's trying, he's trying really hard, maybe too hard to figure out what's a post about. And it's kind of silly sounding because it's like, man, just post like, uh, like, what are you talking about? Uh, you're a strength coach. You help athletes. You make them bigger, faster, stronger. Okay. Um, something you need to think about before you dive deeper into so many of the thousand different things you can post about is outside of, you know, strength science, speed science, uh, nutrition science, uh, sports psychology, you can't forget that you are supposed to be documenting, um, uh, the journey of your athletes because those are the ones that parents and other athletes are going to resonate with. Okay. And that can include your personal story, uh, growing up, you know, like what makes you uh, valuable right now? And why do you wish somebody like you was available? Was it just because you had somebody who could make you bigger, faster, stronger than you were, um, give you better stats for varsity in high school, uh, give you more opportunities to play in college, do better in college uh, once you got there. Uh, some of that's true, but it's also because when you were in school, you were and you were also playing for outside of school teams, those organizations, you may have not always gotten the extra reps that you needed, the attention to detail, okay? And that's your job right there, right, is no matter your philosophy of training, the good, the bad, the ugly, you know, we're all going to, we, we can all go on Twitter rants with this, right? Uh, you you wish there was somebody there to help you for all these small pieces along in the journey, and that is what you are doing. You are helping somebody else on their journey, making sure that they are so confident that they are getting the extra reps, getting the extra work, getting the extra development, that nothing is ever going to make them quit. Like it's going to take an army to make them quit, okay? They're going to have to drag them, kicking and screaming, uh, everything to make them quit because that's how confident they are in their development because you help them, okay? So... When I say connect with people about your athlete's journey, I'm not, you don't have to make these ESPN 30 for 30 uh, uh, videos on them. I'm just saying, you know, where they were day one, uh, learning uh, certain strength patterns, uh, learning sprint technique, uh, you know, where they are after six weeks, uh, what school they go to, uh, feedback you get from them and parents about how they feel when they move uh, in games and practices now from training with you. Uh, the data that you see in your training that they are improving on. All that is part of the journey, okay? And me, with a fitness background, uh, that was once part of my journey that connected with people is because I had been somebody who couldn't get uh, bigger and stronger. I didn't understand nutrition as well. I thought I was eating enough. And then I started connecting with people, and my clients that I would post about uh, whether their journey was to try out for a pro dance team, uh, they were wanting to become even healthier, stronger, more in shape to plan on having kids. They were wanting to make sure they stayed that way while pregnant, post-pregnancy as they got older and career changes. Those were all stories that connected with my audience and the people that I wanted to hire me, okay? So don't think too hard uh, often with, what to post about. Yes, we do want you to post uh, and be unique with these are the things you need in order to improve your squat. Okay, all the sports form stuff, how to be ready for camps, how to be ready for tryouts, 
um, how to win against your competition in games, okay? There's all those great topics that we have, but remember, everything, everybody that you currently train, they're not just people who paid you. Those are people that, one, they could bring referrals, but they are walking testimony. They are your connection to more people who see your content, okay? You post a certain school and sport age, and you post that, hey, they've increased their speed by this much, their strength by this much. They're feeling more awesome. The parents love what they see and everything. They played their butt off in a tournament. They didn't lose any gas in the tank, okay? Those are the pieces to connect with other uh, audiences, okay? Everything else that you post is just going to be like, man, this guy makes them go above and beyond, okay? This is totally unique than just sets and reps and running laps, okay? Um, so think, think hard with this, but don't make it into rocket science, all right? Uh, everybody you train, once again, is a story that connects you with more parents and athletes that you want to sign up in your program. It starts off with your own story, you resonate with your current clients, and you take both your story and current clients, and you make a little post about it uh, from before and afters, and you resonate as you go with your uh, future audience and your uh, people you want to pay you, okay? So if you're looking for more uh, information on this, on how to simplify this complex thing of what to post about, I don't wanna bore them, I don't wanna get too geeky, I wanna do it smart, I wanna do it right, I wanna do it simple, then you need to see it, uh, send us an email, uh, make money, Coaching athletes at gmail.com or you can text me 210 414 3077. Uh, make sure you're following me on Instagram, make money coaching athletes. And we'll talk to you again, okay? Hope you like the rest of our content this week.